Okay, here we go. We're on the last of the factor and product of whole numbers. That's outcome A1. And so it's part 404. And we're looking at a very small section from the textbook, section 3.2, which deals with kind of a little side topic of perfect squares and cubes. Now let's say we didn't have a calculator with us and we wanted to find the square root of a large number, like 1,296. Well, we can actually factorize that number and then the factors together. So let's do that. Well, I'll give you the prime factorization since it would take a couple moments here. Uh, if you did that, you would find it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay. We're now going to group these numbers together into two separate piles. Uh, I'm going to take 1, 2 over here and a 2 over here. Uh, this second 2 can go into this pile and this into that pile. Okay, and if I continue that way, taking a set, a matching set in white and a matching set in red, in fact, what I've done is create two separate numbers, which, which are, in fact, the same. In white here, I've got 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, and that's 36. And in red, I've got 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, which is, of course, also 36. So we could say that 1,296... Well, that's equal to 36 times, oh, why didn't that right? 1,296 is 36 times 36. And so, therefore, the square root of 1,296 is 36. Aha. And that's how we write out a conclusion. Let's try the next one. So take a moment to do the prime factorization and then group into two groups. Just pause that now. One hundred is two times two times three times three times three times three times five times five. All right, I'm going to take one group, and set it aside. That's two times three times three times five, and a matching set of factors is two, three, three, and five, of course. And so we have two times three times three times five. Now, if you sit down and work that out you'll end up discovering that 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 is 90. So in fact, we have 90 times 90. So 8100 is 90 times 90, and therefore, the square root of 8100 is 90. Okay, the cube roots, they work exactly the same way. There's actually nothing different to this question. So when it says find the cube root of 1728, we'll do the exact same process. We will do the prime factorization of 1728. And if you do that on your own, you would end up with 1728 is, wait for it, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 of them. And that's times 3, oh, times 3, times 3, and times 3. Okay, now if we take them and we group them into three groups, first in white, we have 2, 2, and 3. Okay, it's 2 times 2 times 3. In blue, we've got 2, 2, and 3. So we write them down below as 2, 2, and 3. And finally, the last group here is 2, 2, and 3, of course. And so now we've gone through all the factors, 2, 2, 3. And so now we can finally write this out. 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. The other 2 times 2 times 3 is also 12. And the final one is finally 12. Therefore, we can conclude that the cube root of 1728 is 12. Okay, why don't you try a few of those problems from the textbook uh, that you see on the side.